Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be unboxing and showing you guys the new for 2023 Spirit Halloween Darling Dolly animatronic. This one was on the list initially when the sneak peeks first came out and then kind of fell off the list for a little bit there because I was torn between the Blackheart and Darling Dolly. But in the end, I think I'm going to go with Darling Dolly because there are so many other props that I'm interested in looking for this year. For example, the Cauldroness and Emmeline that I feel I felt like I had to kind of choose between the ones. So I ended up choosing this one and I'm pretty happy I did. So far, all I'm looking for are like techie props, which is pretty crazy. They're just so good this year. It's like amazing how awesome they are. But as you can see, this box is pretty massive and it's just your typical, you know, spirit Halloween design with the square stuff on the sides and nothing crazy. We all know what she does, right? She is lunges at you, kind of a drop down mech. It's going to be awesome. So without further ado, let's open her up and see what's inside. So let's open up her box here. We've got these two pieces of tape here that kind of seal her in. Know that she is new factory sealed, which again, I love that they're doing that. It really lets you know if they are new or really not new. So let's pop this open and see what's inside. So right off the bat, we've got some instructions right here. And that's just taped to the top of the box. I find that interesting that they're doing that this year just taping the instructions instead of just laying them lay in the box but here it all is got some sandbags because she definitely probably needs some weight to her and just some components and stuff in there as well and everything else looks like it's in a interior box so i'm probably just going to pull it all out so here we go let's pull it all out again interior box here so everything probably is easily seen for how you pack it away at the end of the year so here it all is and there's some labels I'm already seeing, so this is bound to be pretty interesting. So let's get a closer look. So we've got some clothing pieces right here, it looks like. And this is kind of really interesting. It feels like there's like plastic stuff in there. Well, here we've got the module in a box. Another box that has the head on it, supposedly. I'm trying to get out this piece, but I'm not sure how it kind of just comes out here don't want to rip anything it's tied down of course it's tied down why would i think anything other of techie but to tie down their items they're like known for it now we should be able to pull out this clothing piece with relative ease i'd hope that yep, there we go so there's like a whole bunch of stuff that's already in here i don't know if that's part of the clothing or what i guess we'll find out in a moment here here's a control box which is interesting that's part of something here are her arms. These are my favorite part. This posable stuff is so freaky looking. I love the arms. They look like tree limbs or something. Like what even is Darling Dolly? Like is she some possessed tree looking thing with a doll's head? Like I think she's a tree of some kind, but I guess it's up to your imagination. Here we have some poles that are once again tied down. Now I'm not really complaining that the stuff is tied down, but it is kind of annoying to take them off but it's good for shipping reasons you know i don't think we need instructions for her setup i think we need instructions to how to untie these ties like this one's impossible to work out let's try this one over here i don't know is this one going to be easier for us today maybe i'll learn off of this one to do the other one Ugh. you know what i'm just going to cut them i'm going to cut them cut them because I cannot get these to come off. These are impossible. This is insane how hard these are. I've never really had a problem with these. These are putting up a fight. There's always one that doesn't want to cut. There we go. All right. Oh, and there's, of course, there's one back there. All right. Here we go. It's all coming apart. We got some poles. We've got more poles. Control box, box thingy. And we've got some more things to deal with more things to cut right here will this come out yet nope there's another one of course when will it end when will it end what is this to it's just a pin just laying some oh maybe it goes right here yep it probably goes right there there we go why aren't you coming out is there another one? Oh, right in front of me duh Duh. 
I'm literally sweating from this right now. All right, here we go. There's one part of the base with these two other poles. I'm just gonna place you on the box. Can you hold that? Okay, yes, you can. And then here's another pole. Wow, or here's another base. That's not a pole, that's a base. Here's another part of it. It kind of feels a little thin metal, to be honest, TBH. And then here's an adapter box right here, but that's probably another battle to pull out. So I'm just gonna shove that to the side right now. This is the part of the video where I read the instructions prior to trying to assemble or else I'll have 50 minutes of useless footage to try and edit through because I'm walking around doing nothing but looking at this. All right, so this is the first time in the history of this channel that I'm actually going to try to read the instructions along with the little labels that they put on the poles for easy assembly. So we got A and A and B and B right here. Let's snap those two together. Hopefully it's not too difficult to slide those into place and then snap lock that in. Oh, oh that one went in, but this one is going to give some trouble. Of course, go in. Don't you want to go in? Well, this one doesn't really want to go in, but this one went in, so one is good enough for me. Next, we're going to take this pole and match D to D right here, I think. Snap lock, there you go. Next we're gonna take C to C right here. Snap lock, and we got all these little poles that we need to put on. These are like some sort of support poles and there's probably some pins that we have to pin. Now we have to take these other poles and match these poles to their corresponding ones. E to E right here in the front. Oh, please slide in. E, and then we have to Take off the cardboard for the controller box. Oh yes, look at that, all the wires. We've got human only mode. You see that human only mode? That means your pets cannot activate this animatronic. We're going to slide this right in here on this pole, snap lock it in place. Here's her main mechanism piece and it's got some protective bubble wrapping around the edges, which is nice so those don't chip, I guess. And then we're gonna put this on top right here and snap lock these two top pieces into place, which is going to help stabilize everything. There we go. Now we have to take the clothing. It's nice how the clothing all comes assembled and you also need to make sure that there is a wire hoop right in here for that. And there are these two poles and you have to make sure that this drapes over the whole part of our assembly here and be careful not to rip anything because that would be bad and don't drop anything either because that would also be equally as bad but we just try to find our way blindly now here we are now i'm going to put the pieces on the corresponding poles this is what i'm talking about in here these two poles were connected to the clothing and you just connect those two poles to the module that you just, or the mech that you just built together, and that should be good. And then you probably just take this loop up here, I'm thinking, and maybe slide it down. I don't know. I haven't read that far yet. And as you can see, this thing is way taller than me, and I don't feel like this is seven feet tall. Like, there's no way that this is only seven feet. And I think this is good to know for storage purposes that you see this hoop up here? It's resting on this K bracket thing right here. And I think probably for storage reasons, that's why. I don't know if it really matters that much, but I'm just documenting that for anyone who tries to pack it away. Just that's how it came or that's how mine came. So just letting you guys know. All right, the moment that I've been waiting for, I'm not sure if everyone else has, but this is the moment I was waiting for. I wanted to see how my head looks compared to the other ones that I've seen online. I've seen some where there's no cracks on it. I don't know if that's like an error or what hopefully mine looks half decent i'm hoping for a good amount of cracks oh it's got cracks so i totally forgot to press the record button when i put the head on the neck but that's okay because you could see what it is and you didn't have to see me struggle to put it on so now we run this patriotic looking wire down the whole neck or body i guess yeah it's the, that's the body 
You're gonna run the wire down the body and then I think you're going to want to put this uh, neck hiding thing over everything so no one can see all the metal. So there is the head on place and it's got the, the hiding cloth over it. I do think this is one of the goofier things about her is that like why is the neck so far out? Maybe it's to give a position of a stance like from this like she's lurching at you and you never really even be looking at this side but this just looks kind of funny to me but it looks really creepy from here this is like something straight out of a nightmare now we are going to take her arms and put the arms through the sleeves snap lock into place click hide it so it looks half decent so i put the other arm on and now i'm going to make the arms so bony looking just how I like them to look like like kind of sprawled out like this I don't like them too close together I don't know why oh I just broke the hot glue that's great Devin so there she is basically I still got to put some weights on her and connect the wires but there's the overall stance this thing's really creepy looking I don't think any of my neighborhood children are going to want to get near this thing in fact I don't think half of my family members are going to want to get near this thing here is the final part to this thing i don't know is it like a, is it a tree i don't know is it a doll is it even a living thing is it just the things that our minds come up with as we dream so i just plugged her in and she did not reset so that can mean two things one she's broken or two she does not have a reset and therefore does not to be stored in the down position or up position or the where the spring is not tensioned position. So she can probably chill out like this while sitting in storage. So that's cool and I won't have to worry about it. So it's probably gravity is like the main spring I'm assuming. But even then, maybe it's not because there must be something that's keeping it from falling down. So maybe I will keep it in the down position. I guess we'll find out. But I have some weights on her. I got like seven and a half weights on like four different sections. So I think that should be enough to hold her. And if not, I will just catch it and I have to step in. So she should all be ready to go. Let's see if she doesn't fall on me. So here we go. <laughs> There she is, the 2023 Spirit Halloween Darling Dolly animatronic. What an awesome piece. Definitely a great jump scare. We don't really know what it's supposed to be, and that is why it's so creepy, because it's something straight from someone's nightmare, to be honest. I love the cracks in the head. I really think that puts off an eerie vibe. And the eyes changing from blue to red is just like the old creepy rising doll animatronics. It's so similar. I really think those these two would be great together in a little display. But this thing is probably going to be hanging out in my swamp area. Because I feel like it would just be a mystical kind of a creature looking thing. Because I really think it looks like a tree. For instance, the hands give off just tree vibes to me with the vines of the freaky fabric. And it, look, it almost looks like the dress is kind of like a giant tree stump. And the way it just jumps out at you is just so cool and so uh, new in terms of like just what it does. So overall, very happy with this animatronic. Cannot wait to have it set up in the haunt. And if you are able to get your hands on one, I would definitely recommend you because this is awesome. But that is about the end of this video. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one.